Hello guys, this is Anish Vidya with another tutorial and this is on how I made these render settings. Really cool render settings, I don't know why I did that, but yeah. Um, people thought it was a long render, but actually it was like 15, frame, uh, 15 seconds per frame. And yeah, so watch my animation if you haven't watched it. And this is my new animation I'm working on. It has a different render setting, slightly different, just different color correction, less glow, and that's about it. But yeah, I'm gonna and a little fog uh, also. Fog makes a big difference. Anyway, so I've this is the setup I have, and this is the render. I'm gonna show how to do the render later, but I'm gonna show you some examples. So this is with no global illumination, nothing, just a normal plain render. This is with global illumination. This is with fog yeah a big difference just putting fog this is what I use for my new animation I didn't use it in my tennis animation though because depending on the mood uh, you would have a different render settings so this is with ambient oh no this is with a glow as you can see it's glowing now that's the secret a nice glow uh, just uh, and you can see that the uh, amount of time it took to render it so this was 8 seconds 36 seconds this is 36 this is 37, this is 1 minute 33, this is with ambient occlusion, it adds a little shadow next to each, um, uh, whatever, anyway, uh, this is anti-aliasing, with anti-aliasing, so as you can see the rocks and, I mean, the rough edges, they are more smooth with anti-aliasing, but the render time went up by 3 minutes for a frame, so 4 minutes, 44 sec 47 seconds for a frame and this is uh, the render I used for my tennis animation uh, it has no the secret was color correction actually um, and yeah that's about it um, and glow yeah so I'm gonna show you some example so this is the tennis animation render I've just added color correction and as you can see it looks really cool now so I'm gonna show you how to make the lighting now um, it's like a new Let's grab blank Coliseum. Let's just delete the lighting which I have already had on it. This is the Coliseum I didn't make this one, but I have made a, a different Coliseum which is actually better than this one. I just used this one because um, it is it decorated, um, and I'm only going to be using the inside bit of the Coliseum. I'm not going to show the outside, uh, but yeah, if you want, you can see my other Coliseum that I, I have made. Uh, anyway. Let's make a sky. Let's get new material. Um, new material. Color. Uh, gradient. And click on that. Go to. Oh, what am I doing? 2D V. Change this to a lightish blue. So. Uh, Depending on the color of your sky, you need to change the color correction. So, yeah, and this is slightly darker. Ah, uh, looks okay. Just make this little. And off specular. Okay, so now I'll grab it onto the sky. And already, if I add global illumination, which is what lights up everything, I set it at low because I, I just hate rendering so and once I get a new computer I'll probably increase it but if you have it at low um, the problem with that is you get some black um, flashing on the on some edges I, I know I have you can see it my tennis animation so yeah already you can see it's blue the uh, irradiance catch or whatever you call it irradiance pass and as you can see it is blue yeah, and if you do some color correction it look pretty good but yeah it's not it doesn't have shadows but yeah so let's get some shadows with uh, sunlight so get sunlight go to Sun change off this so now we have control of the Sun we have control of this um, if you don't if you don't off it you can't move it uh, and you can't change the color so let's change it to white Go to here and put this at like 20,000 and then 
yeah and then as you can see the sun is right over there so what i did was i just uh, make a new now made a new now and grab the sun into that and then rotated it above the coliseum like so um so now let's render it as you can see it looks pretty good now with some shadows if you like you can change the settings here and now I'm, I want to show you the environment, which is um, fog. Uh, so if I just put this at 100 and enable fog, and I need to see my previous render. Okay, so you change this. You have this at zero, I think. Um, yeah, and then put this to uh, put this to 150,000 and 100 percent. And if you like, you can change the color, whatever. And now, if I render, as you can see, it's white now because the fog. If you change it to affect background, I think it will change it back to blue, and you will see the sky. But if you render it like this, uh, now the sky is white, which I'm not um, concerned about because in this animation, I'm not going to be showing the sky a lot. So it's not going to be important. So, and if I run it with that, yeah. So it's blue. Um, so, mm, actually, I'm not going to use the environment. I'm just going to show you the tennis animation um, render because that's what y'all wanted. So now let's go to effects, glow. So this is what I had it on for my tennis animation, 3 and 10. But for this, I said, yeah, I, for my gladiator, I have it at 5 and 2 and 5. So I'm going to show you the tennis animation one. Okay, and now render. Okay, as you can see, everything is glowing now. It looks okay, depending on the mood again. So... I'm gonna pre add 2 and 5 because, yeah, uh, whatever. Okay, you can add ambient occlusion if you like, but I don't have in my render settings, I don't use it. So 180 and evaluate transparency, that's what I normally set it at. But I, uh, the reason why I enable this is because if you don't enable it, alpha channels turn out black. Uh, so, yeah, uh, then go and add. Lens effect, yeah. What this is, if you select the sun, you probably all know this by now because my previous tutorial I have it. All right, so lens default, default, edit changes somewhere here and orange, and increase this. And actually, if you uh, think you need to off glow, otherwise it looks weird, but you don't really need to off it. So let's render it. Mm, off ambient occlusion. So now you have the sun uh, with some lens effect. Uh, it's important that you have a lens effect, otherwise you won't get that. Um, okay, so what to do with anti-aliasing, anti-aliasing, so you select it and change it to best and that's all really. My render settings is, I set this at um, 1280 by 540 and 24 frames a second and all frames of course and save to JPEG and option i have this at none and this all at low mm. and this like that and no global ambient ambient occlusion and that's about it so really fast render uh, let me see yeah that's about it so uh, I think I made it clear, so let's get to the color correction. So let's make a new one, new project, 
don't save and let's get this one which is the tennis animation um, animation picture so yeah and it's bluish and it's very important you do this since it's at 540p you would right click composition settings and you change this to 720p it increases the quality a lot um, I, I found out with my and Danny uh, and the uh, Brian thing series whatever failed series <laughs> um, yeah so uh, so important you do that uh, now make an adjustment there that's what I always do so I don't have to go and edit all the layers for color correction so adjustment layer um, now add some curves you really need to learn curves it's like really cool so just RGB I normally set it like this then red I have it like this blue green I have it like this oh looking purple blue that and yeah it looks pretty cool now um, that's about it for color correction and another thing I will set it up and I will show you so it's it's called force motion blur and as you can see it's blurred when you move the camera fast or something or something's moving pretty fast you would add this blur so type here force and just grab it to your adjustment layer which I already have my adjustment layer and oh forgot I forgot about you and saturation so I, I set it at negative 20 depending on the mood again <laughs> so it gives a more bl black and whitish look um, which I like because it's a gladiator movie and that's what I've seen in more like um, movies such as like this you would reduce the saturation more. Uh, and, and okay false motion blur uh, so you gra grab it onto the adjustment layer and you would set this at 8 and when the camera if it um, if it changes frames what you would do is you would keyframe it at 8 and then keyframe it at 0 where it changes the frame changes the position of the camera because um, otherwise there's like a weird um, weird change uh, frame whatever the frame is messed up so you would put it at zero and then put it back at eight and so the transition is not blurred out uh, so uh, that was a horrible explanation anyway um, did I forget something uh, yeah so that's about it um, hope you learned something and by the way, this is a quick clip for my new animation. Really cool. <laughs> Pretty violent. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Download the Creeper, it'll help me a lot. <laughs> it's $15. No one has downloaded it so far, just two people. Uh, and yeah, because everyone has now pirated everything, so yeah, it's disappointing. Really. <laughs> um, yeah, so see you later. Uh, that's the weird outro. So. Okay, whatever. <laughs>